Well, hello there, YouTube. What we're going to do now is part two of my tutorial on how to use the Arch Appliant VM. So what we're going to do now is we're going to download the Arch VM image from the internet, unzip it, and then uh, actually show you a few basic commands on how to use Zen to run that image. First things first, though, we need to make sure we've got a network bridge set up in Unraid. So let's go do that now. Okay, um, go to your Unraid web GUI with the IP address of your server. Um, then go to the settings part, uh, network settings, and then enable the uh, network bridge. So set up bridge, yes. Leave it as BR0. That's the, uh, the default, and it's what I've set up in the Arch config file. Um, now let's take a really quick look at one of these config files uh, and I'll explain a little bit about it. Um, you have here the name of your virtual machine, so Arch VM, and it is case sensitive. Then we have what's going to be the bootloader. That mustn't change. Uh, you can change this name. You could change it to uh, whatever you like. Um, this is the amount of RAM that the machine's going to have, and this is the number of virtual CPUs that you're going to have. So if you're rich, you'll have eight, CPU, eight CPUs with hyper-threading or something, um, or you want to do Plex transcoding. For most part, you know, one or two CPUs is probably enough just for a virtual machine that's going to do the odd bit of downloading on BitTorrent and uh, the odd bit of media serving and all that kind of stuff. Um, Next up, uh, what we have is the Arch image. Um, now, if you put your image somewhere different to, to what I do, the default, I think, in, is, is this uh, mount user cache Arch VM image. Now, if you put it somewhere else, you're going to need to edit this file path to match your, your own bit in the config file. Uh, don't do this using Microsoft Word or something like that. You must use a very basic text editor that doesn't add any silent ASCII characters. So use Notepad++ if you know it. Use Nano, you know, that, that kind of thing. Um, you can add extra drives in here. You can't mount the Unraid array in, in, in here. Uh, so what's important is that you increment this last digit here. So X, V, D, B, D, C, D, D, etc. Um, you can add, as I say, extra drives to the virtual machine and give it direct hardware access in this, in this fashion. Uh, you know, an LVM uh, container, for example. If you don't know what that is, don't worry. I'll cover it in another video sometime. Uh, and then finally, you've got uh, your MAC address for the virtual machine. Uh, you can fill these in if you want to with, you know, A1, B2, C, whatever. It doesn't matter. But uh, you, you can fill these in. And then finally, this name here of the bridge must match what you set here. All right, so that's the config file covered. Um, we have the cache only share, which we set up in the first video. So let's go and connect via SSH to our Unraid. So we do that in, in the Mac anyway, on terminal, on Windows, you'll probably want to use something like Putty um, and connect. So SSH root at the IP address of your box, which for me is .100. And we connect this way. And you must set a password on Unraid for the uh, SSH to work. Uh, and as you can see, we're now connected to Unraid over SSH. So if ever you wonder what SSH was, how to use it, this is it. Now let's go and change directory to our cache drive. So for me, it's um, mount cache, I think. Let's, let's do that, yes. Yeah, fine, this will do. So ls is a really useful command because it shows you what is currently under the directory that you're in, if that makes sense, I hope it does. Uh, next thing we want to do is go back to my thread on the forums and grab the download link, copy link address, and then we'll use a program called wget built into Linux to download that image. Uh, it's about 450 meg, so it will take a little while, and uh, I'm going to pause the video and we'll be back when it's done. All right, so that's now done. Um, feel free to pause the video whilst yours downloads. We're going to do another command that's going to take a few minutes now. Type in unzip and then uh, capital A R. And if you press tab, it's actually going to finish the file name off for you. It's a nice little tip in Linux console if you didn't know it. Um, 
it will save you a bunch of time. So unzip arch vm blah 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 dot zip, hit return, and it's now going to unpack the 450 meg download into the uh, full 15 gigabyte image that uh, the virtual machine is going to use as its hard drive. Uh, this is going to take about five minutes, so I'm going to pause the video and uh, I'll see you in a minute. Okie dokie, so again, feel free to pause the video whilst your file extracts. Mine is now complete. Uh, so if we type the ls command, we should see now that we have the zip file that I downloaded in addition to the new arch vm directory. So let's change into that new directory and see what's in there. Right, we've got two files, brilliant. First you've got the arch image, which is the virtual machine's hard drive. Um, it is about 15 gigabytes in size, um, 14 gig, okay. Uh, it's quite large. And then you've got the arch config file, which is only a few kilobytes, and that's we've, we've been through the config file just a minute ago. So um, let's actually start the VM running, shall we? That's really easy. We type Excel, create, and then just the name of the config file. Um, and now if we do hyphen C, this is going to log us straight into the virtual machine's console. So you don't have to connect to it via SSH. You can do that. I have enabled that for you, but this is much quicker. Uh, you'll see what I mean. It's going to show you all of the output from the machine. It goes through Grub uh, automatically, no user input. And within, I don't know, 10 seconds, it's going to be uh, booted. In fact, there we go. Done. Let's log in. Um, I have created a couple of users in this virtual machine for you here. Uh, you've got a root user with a password of unraid6 and a non-privileged user of password also unraid6. Um, so there we are. We're logged into our virtual machine. It's downloaded straight away. You can see that it's only using uh, just under a gigabyte for the whole of the install. It's using 62 megabytes of RAM. Um, this is why I love Arch, it's got such a small footprint, and um, we are now ready to, to start downloading apps, I suppose. Um, I've made another video later on on how to do that, um, but first things first, I'm going to show you how to get out of the console that you're now in. Um, so you'll need to locate the square bracket on your keyboard, which is the one that looks like this. Um, press control and the square bracket at the same time and you see that we've now changed from the Arch Appliance VM back to the Unraid console. Pretty neat. So let me show you some other um, Zen commands that you can do. You've got Excel list which shows you all of the virtual machines running. You've got the DOM0 which is Unraid. You've got the Arch VM and then any others would be listed there also. You've got a real-time uh, process manager for Zen. Uh, here's the Arch VM uh, running, and you can quit this with Control C or just press Q. Uh, you've also got, uh, or oh, if you want to go back to the console of your virtual machine, um, you type Excel console and then the name of the machine, and it must match case sensitive. If I if I get that wrong, let me show you what happens. Oh, I can't find it. So if you get the case wrong, it's going to shout at you. If I hit Enter now and hit Enter again. There we are, we see we're back in the console of um, the Arch Appliance Virtual Machine. Pretty neat. So control square bracket once more to get out of it. Excel list just to prove it's still running. And then we'll do one more. Excel shutdown Arch VM. And we'll see in a second if I do Excel list again that um, the Arch VM is no more. Simple as that. So you can just do Excel create arch.config. No need for the console command this time. And then that machine will be running automatically in the background. You can put it in a um, certain place to make it auto start on boot. Um, I'm going to post that once I figure it out. Um, so Excel console arch VM. And there we are. So if we log in as root and raid six. There we are. I mean, I've shown you this a few times just to hopefully give you a better idea of what's going on. Um, yeah, that, that's it really. Uh, if you want to grab the IP address of your Arch install, it's a slightly different command to Unraid. It's IP Adra, and this will show you here that the uh, <laughs> this virtual machine, for some reason, hasn't got an IP address just yet. In fact, 
there we go it's picked it up so there was a little bit of a delay there but now it's picked it up and if you wanted to connect to it over SSH instead of the console you you could do that route at 106 yeah so what could do that and uh, oh no, wrong password and there you go so I'm now connected to the virtual machine over SSH instead of over the uh, the console it makes no difference which way you do it just personal preference and habit so um there you go that's it the, you have downloaded your virtual machine you've unpacked it or unzipped it and you've made it run there's no installation required i've set up quite a few nice little things in here for you uh ready you know it's going to mount nfs drives automatically if i do uh, cd net tower uh, mount user data i can guarantee you that that is my unraid uh machine there i've got another unraid machine on my network uh, mount user media it's as easy as that to um, actually connect to different unraid machines over nfs i'm going to set up samba for for you as well with a new image that i'm going to upload later today and um that's it i mean it's it's pretty awesome i hope you guys enjoy it check out part three and part four of these videos as well because they go into a bit more depth of what you can actually do with the virtual machine how to install Plex, Sabnzbd, etc., etc. So uh, enjoy.